Many of my clients ask me, what is the rent to buy option? So I want to take this time to break it down to you. What is a rent to buy option? Because most people, they want to go into this option because of one reason or another. I'll actually give the reasons of why actually people go into the rent to buy option instead of the conventional way of buying a property. But before I get to that, as you know, in this channel, we talk all things real estate, all things personal finance, so that you are empowered. And I want to take this chance to say, welcome to 2023. This is the first episode. So let's get to it, shall we? So what is the rent to buy option? Just before that, I will just simplify or break down to you how to buy a property uh, uh, in the conventional way because a rent to buy option is not really the conventional way but buying a property normally you can buy a property maybe in two or three ways right the fourth way will be the rent to buy option that i will just <coughs> uh, uh, simply explain after i've narrowed down to how you buy the property normally so normally when you buy a property you go view the property you like the property you sign an offer to purchase when you send an offer to purchase on the offer to purchase you can indicate there that you want to buy the property cash or you want to buy the property via finance which should be a financial institution that will actually uh, fund you to buy that property and you'll pay them monthly installment right so that is the normal way if you buy through cash then you just deposit the cash into the trust account of the conveyancers and they will do now the transfer of the ownership the third option is an installment sale an installment sale it's also a unique way of selling a property but i will not explain much i'll explain it on another day in detail but basically an installment sale is where you come to an agreement with uh, the owner that you'll pay them installment over a certain period of time and but you will have to pay an upfront deposit normally you will have to pay 20 percent and then you will have to pay installment uh, maybe you'll pay the installments over a year or two years but normally it's not the conventional 20 years or 30 years that you will have on a, a normal banking institution right now let's get to what is a rent to buy option so rent to buy option is not really a conventional way of buying a property but for some people that wants to build up what we call deposit or that do not have a very good credit score they tend to go for this option because it helps them build deposit and it helps them get enough time to uh, beat their credit score if their credit score is actually not that good right so what is a, a, a rent to buy option so a rent to buy option is basically a leasing agreement with an option to buy at the end of that period say for example you want to buy the property after let's say 12 months or after 24 months what it mean is that on the initial agreement you will agree on what will be the rental amount and then on top of the rental amount will be and some fees that are added on top of the rental amount which will be for you to build deposit that at the end of the uh, agreed term then you will buy the property and the price of the house is agreed upfront right so this is where this uh, fees that are paid on top of the rental agreement comes in because what it means it means that after 24 months after 12 months if the property value has went up you do not have to pay additional amount because the the, uh, the those additional uh, amount should cover that and they are non-refundable right so they're non-refundable which means that if at the end of the period you decide not to buy the property for one reason or another then you lose all that money 
right? So that is one thing to think about. But for owners of that properties, the good thing that they like is that the money for sure is not refundable, so they get to get that benefit, right? But also another thing is that, you know how uh, uh, landlords are always complaining that my tenants do not actually keep my property in a good condition. In this case, because the person that is renting your, the property is actually uh, having an intention to buy that property, what will they do? They will treat that property in a good condition, right? Because they want to keep the, the property that they want to own in a good condition. So that is another benefit for uh, an owner. But there's many, many, many other risks, right? But for a, 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 a tenant that has an intention to buy, well, if your credit score is not good, you know, normally you need around six months to get your credit uh, very good. So in this scenario, you get to have a time to actually build your credit score so that by the time you decide to buy the property, you can actually uh, now have a good credit score that a financial uh, a bank will actually approve you. So that is the benefit, right? And you actually have enough deposit uh, to pay upfront. Uh, that's basically, in a nutshell, a rent-to-buy option. And that's how they work in South Africa. So, of course, if you have any other question with regards to property, with regards to personal finance, I am here to serve. I am here to serve, right? If you want to sell, if you want to buy, I'm also here to sell. Right, so don't forget to hit that red subscribe button so that so that when I actually post on the next week, you can actually get notified.